In this video, we are going to look at searching algorithms. And remember, a searching problem that would require a searching algorithm to solve is to locate an element X in the list of distinct elements or determine that it is not on the list. So our solution is the location of the term that equals the value that we're looking for, or our solution is zero if zero is not on the list. So an example here would be spell check. Spell check essentially looks through all of your items in the list, compares it to the dictionary, and then the output is it's going to put that squiggly little red line over something that is uh, under something that is not spelled correctly, or it's not going to do anything if everything is spelled correctly. So we're going to look at just two of the um, search algorithms. Obviously, there are many, many more. But the first we're going to look at is the linear search algorithm. And that one basically just checks each term in the sequence until it uh, arrives at the desired term. So for instance, here's my list of values, and I'm looking for the term x. So the computer, and again, know that these are values in a sequence. And so these would be considered the locations. So in a linear search algorithm, the computer is going to look first at the first value, so a sub 1, and say that's not 9. a sub 2 is not 9. The third value is not 9. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, and the seventh value is 9. So what output would our computer give us? in a linear search algorithm, the output would be 7, and the 7 means that it is the value in the seventh location. Let's look at the linear search pseudocode, so for the one that we just talked about. Again, first we're going to name the procedure, and the procedure, I just named it linear search because that's what we're doing. This part is very important because this tells us what values are the inputs? So the inputs are x, um, and we're looking at the integers, a sub 1, sub 2, etc., all the way through a sub n, such that they are distinct integers. So no repeats. And then we're saying here, let's start at the first value of the sequence, because a, i equals 1 means a sub i equals a sub 1. That means we're starting right here. Then we're telling the computer the process. So while i is less than or equal to n, remember what's n? That's the total number of numbers we have. So while there are still integers to look at and x, our desired value, is not equal to the value that we're checking, then we're going to go on to the next value in the sequence. So if a sub 1 isn't our x value we're looking for, then we're going to go on to a sub 1 plus 1, which of course is a sub 2. So then we say if i, is i being the subscript, is less than or equal to n, then the location is i. Otherwise, the location is 0. So what does all that mean? That means it's a 0 if we haven't found the value that we're looking for. What's the return? And again, there should be a bracket on the edge of that. I apologize. The return is the location. And the location is i, such that i gives us the location of our value of x. So location is the subscript, which is i, of the term that equals x, or 0 if it is not found. So that's where that else comes in. So if i is less than or equal to n, then the location is i. Otherwise, the location is 0, meaning it was not found. So now let's look at the binary search algorithm, which is another search algorithm. And the only difference here, or the biggest difference here, is that the list of items must be in increasing order. So it's possible that you might have to uh, do some sort of sorting algorithm first if you have data that's not in the correct order and then use the binary search algorithm. And this one basically begins by comparing the desired element x with the middle value. So specifically what it does 
is it looks at the fact that this is A1, A2, A3, etc. And it says, okay, the left endpoint is A1 and the right endpoint is A7. So we're going to take 1 plus 7 and divide it by 2 to get 4. So let's look at what's happening at A4. At A4, our value is 3. So let's compare 3 to 9. Well, 9 is greater than 3. So because it's greater than 3, our algorithm says, okay, let's use this as the left endpoint and still keep this as the right endpoint. So essentially it's saying, let's get rid of this data. If our value was less than 3, then we would have included all of this to determine the left and right endpoints. So it would be A1 and A4 and continue from there. But because it was to the right, now I'm left with A5, A6, A7. So I'm going to take 5 plus 7 and I'm going to divide it by 2, which of course gives me 6. And that tells me to now compare the value at A6, which is 7, to the value that I'm looking for, the desired value of 9. And the 9 is greater. So again, this tells us if it's greater than this, then this is the left endpoint. So these go away. And so the left endpoint is 7 and the right endpoint is 7. So basically we now found a list of size 1, which is what we wanted. And what my output would be then is either 0. If this answer wasn't 9, then my output would be 0. But because the answer is 9, the output is the location of the solution, which is in the seventh position. Let's take a look at the pseudocode for that binary search algorithm. Again, the procedure we're calling binary search, we're saying that we're using, we're finding X, and we're trying to find X in a list of integers ordered from A1 through A9 that are increasing integers. We're saying that I is going to represent the left endpoint of the interval, and it's going to start at I, or sorry, at 1, because 1 is, when we start, is the left endpoint for sure. J is going to start at N, and that's going to always be the right endpoint of our interval. And then we're saying while I is less than J, so while essentially we don't have a list of 1, we're going to take the floor function of I plus J divided by 2. So we didn't have to end up doing the floor function in our last example just because that's the way it worked out. But if we had to, we would have done the floor function rounded down to the nearest tall integer. We're basically taking the subscripts or the locations of the left and right endpoint and dividing by 2. Then we're saying if x, our desired value, is greater than that middle value, then my new left endpoint is 1 to the right of that, which is what we did. Otherwise, j, which is the left endpoint, is going to be that middle value that we used before. So if x is equal to a sub i, then that is the location. If I didn't find the desired value of x, then my location is 0. And then the return, or the output, is the location. And again, all of this stuff, and I keep forgetting to put the second bracket on, but all of that stuff in the middle is basically just telling us as a person what the location is. So here's a practice for us. We're looking for the value of 22 in a set, and here is the set, and notice I was nice enough to put these in the correct order for you already. So if I were using the linear search algorithm, then I would look for, and again I should number these, A1, A2, A3, A4, etc. And I'm not going to cross them off as I did last time because obviously I'm going to use them again when I do my binary search. But if I'm doing linear search, essentially I'm saying, is it an A1? No. Is it an A2? No. Is it an A3? No. A4? No. Etc. Etc. All the way until I get to A8. So it's in A8, which means my output is 8. And so again, all I was doing was going from left to right. In the binary search algorithm, I would look at the fact that my left endpoint is 1 and my right endpoint is 10. Dividing that by 2, 
I get, and again, this is the floor function. So one plus 10 divided by two is 5.5, .5, but the floor function makes it five. So I'm starting here and saying, well, let's see, 22 is greater than 99. And so I'm going to get rid of all of those. And now what I have is a six is my left endpoint. Sorry, I should have just written six. Written six, six is my left, 10 is my right. I divide that by two, I get eight. And looking at eight, now I found what I'm looking for. And so my output is eight because I found it.